Hello people, it's me, Sunswipe, and we're normally not be making this video, but a certain situation happened and fucked over everything at the start of this week, and I will just have to state, it was absolutely my fault. Like, there was no point of blaming anyone else. Just me. <sighs> so, I guess we should start from the beginning and not work our way backwards. It was Monday night where I was. I may have been about an hour in-ish to streaming Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. Carrying on with my Hide Night cosplay run, which I feel like I'm close to ending that, but I don't know. I still have some stuff to do, and I don't remember remember all of it. What I do remember is that I got a message on Discord, private message one. From someone that is in this, well, someone who is watching the stream right now. And I will put it this way, yes, the, the message sent should have been the first warning sign. It should have been. It was not for my eyes. Is it because for some reason I had one bit and was slightly tired? Considering I'm pretty sure the night before I had been up quite late. I can't remember what I was playing, but I know I was not. I was not in a great place. Even after one beer, because I'm pretty sure they say one, like, a certain amount of tiredness can equal a certain amount of drunkenness. So you combine that with actual beer. It may have been only just one. And it was a cause, so that's all percent or the same cider, but you combine it with tightness, that might as well be a full fucking bottle of vodka for all you care. But yes, that may be the reason that's why it did happen, pretty much. I saw a link. For some reason, didn't think twice about not clicking on it, just went ahead with it. And then click download. And then I sent it into the C drive. And then when I tried to run it. It didn't do anything. Initially. And then. I do not remember which happened first. Either. I tried to see if it was anywhere in task manager. Or. I ended up getting notifications from other people. Saying that I am supposedly spamming them messages about a game. The same one that was just straight up a virus. What I do remember was that I had to do massive amounts of damage control. And it was massive. But shortly before that, I had conflicting messages from the person. Because it was a combination of them and the hacker, or what we found out later in this case, hackers, like conflicted messages of saying whether to download it or not. It already was, it was already within the system. It may have been removed off the of task manager and like being completely deleted file wise, but the virus attached to it was not gone at this point. So it was a lot of trying to think of damage control as much as I could. For some reason, streaming at the same time as it. I am not joking about that. I genuinely was, which wasn't the greatest of ideas. I could have just stopped the stream immediately. And maybe I could have sorted out quicker. Who can? Anyways, in the past, well, that part, even if I'm still talking about it, I know. Tangents. It's a bit of a problem. So, I, I did end up ending it. And then, 
I'm pretty sure I was tense. Oh yeah. During the time I was in a voice call with some people, and then at some random point, my mic got well, not it didn't disconnect. It just Discord did not allow me to use my mic for some reason. I do not know the reason as to why. Anyway, that was clearly more suspicious. On like I had been hacked, that and my entire bio had been fucked over. I don't know if my name ever, my name did get changed. What I do know is uh, I don't know how many people spammed. I'm like, just saying, literally the same message that I got, and then had to do them such well stating that I was hacked. I do not what. Well, I don't know if the account that did it is banned or not, and I don't know if my account is still somehow trying to do that. I hope not. But after ending the stream, you know, again, voice call, and then again within another voice call on the phone with some people, some of my friends that aren't here, pretty much like just detailing. What I need to do is to try and lock down the virus as much as possible and stop the hackers from getting any of my information because during this time they sent me to a Discord group chat and they were trying to blackmail me and the other person. The other person pretty much got their shit sold immediately. Mine took a bit longer. So I tried to leave as many times as I could and they just kept on Forcing me back in until they sent a message saying if I left one more time, they were essentially going to what, delete all of the accounts. Yo, I cannot fully remember. I know it was a threat that if I left, I would be big shit. And it was somewhat confusing considering it was a mixture of English and French. Yeah, that should give you the indication as to why I'm just going to refer to them as French hackers. From Paris. So while many of that was going on, I was trying to lock down all of the accounts I had by not only changing the passwords, but also removing them from Chrome itself. And only keeping the ones on there that literally I don't use, can't even access anymore because, like, the website's just down or the expiry date on my account is gone. Eventually got that done, and then you also had to unplug this PC from the Wi Fi because. You know, essentially quarantine itself. I mean, it may have been one cable, but unplugging one cable saved my ass. I know I'm getting mixed up with like when the events exactly happened. Not everything is clear in my head. I was tired and stayed up to like 4 a.m. in absolute panic mode for the majority of it. Got me some slack. Uh, what happened? Oh yeah, it was a lot of having a notepad file of the old password and then just pulling down the new ones and trying to intercept the hackers as much as I could. Like, I am just so glad that I got emails whenever they were trying to change my like, passwords for my account. Of literally anything. The most famous example was my Epic Games account. Because if I were to take an actual screenshot of it properly, but I'm not wanting to go on that old account anymore because that he's now lost the time. Pretty much it was someone trying to access my Epic Games account, full on displaying the email address and the password and saying it's wrong. That was a moment of joy. 
Although it was short lived because I still had to hack well lock down all of the other accounts. And during this I really wanted to gloat to them, but I felt like if I did, that would be taking time away from me locking down every single account I have. <laughs> and it may just persuade the board to go even more harsh. Because these hackers were not like the best of the best. If it was the best of the best, all of the accounts would have been taken away as soon as I clicked download. Instead, no, somehow I was able to pretty much beat them pretty much every single time. I'd like to know as to how. Because I did it like four of them and four to six of them. They just really did give up. And, oh, what else did happen? Uh, uh, I don't remember exactly what did happen after that. Because I know what happened later on concerning the scanning of this PC. I mean, not only did malware bytes have to be known, but I really did have to. Initially, it was a quick scan from like Microsoft Defender. I don't think it actually is that, but it might as well be. And the malware bytes. Malware bytes found like 70 potentially harmful files or things that your PC does not want. So those were quarantined. I don't know if the quick scan found anything after that, but it was still done. And then I had to sit through a very, very lengthy full scan of the entire PC. It went through like every single lockdown file, and I didn't stay awake going to be finished. Oh no, it said about three hours was done by the time I wanted to just go to sleep. By the time pretty much everything else was done, everything else in my power. The passwords. The two factor authentication, because I will say here, right here, right now. I did not, for most of the accounts, have two factor authentication, because pretty much all the time I kept on forgetting that it existed. Genuinely. It just happened. Look. So, my best reason that's why I forgot was because I wanted to make the account and kept on forgetting two-factor authentication. There was no reminder, nothing, just no mention of it. I did consider it until now where uh, it's on everything that can support it. Because some sites, I couldn't tell you so why, don't have it. Because I'm pretty sure Spotify doesn't fucking have it, or at least I couldn't find it. So if the Spotify gets hacked, that's be ripperoni. I'm pretty sure Labbox doesn't have it. I don't know many others. I don't think even GG app does. So during the full scan, I was in like a terrible place. Some as I felt like I had to do a pace around my living room. Try and calm myself down. That only did so much. Sleep definitely did because I felt better in the morning, not 100%. I was not going to be feeling 100% until I got the go ahead, being able to plug in the Ethernet cable and setting everything else back up. As soon as that happened, I was over the moon, and yet, I will say, during that time, I did have Europe's final countdown. I had that fully set up. Because I felt like I had earned this. I've earned this moment. Give me something, goddammit. And thankfully, because I am literally here telling you about the story, everything is fixed. And I have not seen any traces of the French hackers again. 
but to absolutely cover my tracks, a new email address was made. I am not stating what that is in any play, shape, or form. That is a secret that is only known to me and no one else. I do not care how close I am with will ever know the email address at all. And a new Discord account had to be made. With a name that wouldn't arouse any suspicion in any way, shape, or form that it is made by the same person who made the old Discord account. Honestly, you could look at the two and think that they are completely different people. It was the absolute intention. And that brings us where we are today. Where it is Sunswipe 1. French Hackers. 0. And the small moral of, moral of the story of tonight is don't click stupid fucking links on games to do with each.io that are really small and get a message from someone saying, hey brother, don't you fucking do that. Don't be the idiot like me. I got lucky in that the, the hackers I was dealing with were fucking morons. You may not be so fucking lucky. You honestly could end up facing the best of the best of the best. And if you do... Good luck with that. Just hope that you yourself know a hacker friend that could potentially help you or your PC is entirely locked down before even initiating it. Because fuck me. I do not want this shit to happen ever again. If it does, I'm just ending it. That may sound serious, but you do not want to face the reality of being hacked and knowing pretty much everything that you have put online, any account, email address. Yeah, that's in the palm of someone else's hand, and there's a high chance your money disappears, and also the fact that you literally have access to nothing. And you will never be able to find the hackers. Because even if you attempt to track them down and find that they're in Paris, I know someone's going to say, I can't say that. Except for the fact that the email addresses I got at times genuinely said that someone was trying to access it from Paris. Obviously, it's not going to say. Where in Paris, because that would be the most specific piece of shit possible. But that's my conclusion that they are French. Or that they happen to live in France, but it's better to say that they're French. And I already had a stigma against the French, specifically. The group of the, well, the uh, section of France. I cannot tell you exactly as to where, I'm pretty sure you can find it like somewhere. That if you do not speak perfect French, then pretty much will kill you. They are that serious about speaking French. And also others speaking French. Meaning they only like other Frenchmen. Slash people who manage to speak it fluently and can understand it properly. I am not one of those people. Most people I know are not any of those people. Actually, all of the people that I know personally... Are not those people. So I. It does not help. I know I. Doesn't exactly help when in this country. And many of us it's very much. The same but most of the time. That's a small minority of people. And it's usually the one time thing. Within the streets. Not like an entire section. Of, fr of a country itself. Although you could say. In some areas of America. It's like that. In some areas of Britain. But. Considering how large France is and has like a similar population to like Britain or did, that's terrifying. Because that could easily be like the entire like an entire section of London or something is just full of British people that that pretty much demand you to speak English, and if you do not, you'll get beat up. I know mean, London's in a way a scary place with all the knife crime and that, but I feel like that would be worse. Like, especially for any foreigner. Is this me going off topic? 
Yes, like I said, tangents. Do I care? No. My video. Tangents are bound to happen. And for closing comments, pretty much what's said in the model of the story, don't be the idiot like me by clicking on links when the message is before, mention the words hey and brother when the person who sent you those messages has never said that in their lives to your knowledge, at least not in the DMs and in most cases today, people do not call each other brother. And don't be want to just click on them and look instantly and just think of nothing of it. Because they will buy you an ass as it did me. Because as much as I can say be careful out there, I am not making decisions for you. You wouldn't want that. Based on Monday's situation, you absolutely do not. And that is all I have for this video. Honestly, there could not be more information that I cannot remember. I am not wanting to entirely disclose who the person was that got hacked in the first place and saw their stuff out. If they are wanting to, then they can speak up now. As I drink from my Lord of the Rings tankard. And I wish I could stop hitting my mic. Fuck. So if you can tell this is a tiny war. Like I, I could do this and have it be edited. Without me recording for about an hour to two hours. And throwing it down for about two about 42 minutes. Yeah, I ain't doing that. It's currently in about 22 minutes right now. So I'm going to wrap this up quickly. Pretty much. Don't be the idiot like me and click the stupid links. Enable two-factor authentication. Don't be the one like me and forget its existence. And make sure to absolutely back up your passwords to someone that is not a PC. Or at least if you do, make it so that it's in a location that can't be hacked into easily. One potential piece of advice, just put loads of folders before it. And make it so that the hackers would have to choose if they were trying to go through each file individually. But if it's a hacker, yeah, that may not happen. Especially, yeah, the good one. I got lucky and got... Got done with shit hackers. Yeah, I'm not sure how to end it after that. Aside from Ciao for now, people. This this type of video is not normal for me. But I pretty much have no choice. I kind of have to explain my story to get it across and pretty much to say, fuck the French.